Hi, Jesse Mock, field agronomist with Pioneer in North Dakota and Minnesota. Uh, today I'm just going to spend a little time talking to you about uh, proper planting depth for both corn and soybeans and also uh, the accurate way to actually check planting depth. So first thing I'm going to cover here is the proper way to, to check planting depth. There, there's many ways to do it. Um, some are, they're, they're not right or wrong, but uh, the most accurate way to do it, obviously, is you're, you're going to want to go ahead and find your ridge uh, where the closing wheels came together and, and left your furrow. Uh, so to do that, you just start off, you're going to dig down lightly within there, and uh, you're going to dig until you actually find a seed. Alright, so once you actually find the seed in here, uh, what you're going to do is uh, you take your, uh, your, your seed digger, these are nice and handy because they have measurements on them, and you place it about in the middle of the seed, not on top of, but right to the side, uh, so you've got it placed in there. And then if you've got another seed tool, uh, it can be a stake or another seed digger, uh, you, you kind of want to visualize this ground settling back down. So if a, when a rain comes in or when the dirt settles back down uh, from planting, uh, so I actually scrape away just to, just a little bit till it firms up, and then I'm going to go ahead and place that tool right there, uh, which will give you kind of an accurate planting depth. This one's roughly uh, just a touch over two and a half uh, inches on this particular one. Uh, another one uh, you can use too. These are these are popular plant stakes uh, right here, kind of where the edge comes together. That's about two inches there. So when you're putting in plots, if you don't have those tools, uh, they're a nice plot, a uh, nice tool to be able to, to use as you're doing plots. So kind of beyond that, uh, when you're talking about seeding depth in general, with, with, corn, with corn, you know, we always want to get seed in the moisture. We, we can't afford being able to have some in moisture and not, some not with uh, uneven emergence. So corn I always gear for a minimum of an inch and a half. So you got to search various areas of your field and, and find your shallowest area. And, and an inch and a half is kind of where you want to be uh, to, to two and a half inches. The key always being having it in moisture. Uh, sometimes you got to go to three inches to get it into moisture. So those are kind of the ranges we usually shoot for. I would say two is, is probably your best average. Now when you're talking soybeans, uh, you can go anywhere from a half inch to an inch and a half. The key again is it being in moisture. A half inch can be a little too shallow uh, if, if there is no moisture, so, so that's the main key. You know, go up to two to even sometimes two and a half inches with soybeans, depending on your field conditions, but, but no less than a half inch. We can't afford that drying out, not getting rain in, and then those seeds just not germinating. So a summary of today's uh, session on planting depth and, and where you should end up with your corn and soybeans. Uh, the key takeaway is, is not putting them too shallow and not getting them too deep. Uh, but with that, uh, always make sure they're, they're getting into moisture. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.